guys, it's Melissa. Alternative girls, am I right? You always want to be like them. So hip, so cool, all over the internet. Today I'm going to show you how to be freaking awesome. And I get questions. Melissa, how are you so freaking cool? Well, I'm here to tell you today how to do that in just a few easy steps. Here is how to be an alternative girl. Step one to be alternative. Just chill the fuck out. Breathe, it's okay, and then kind of think, and then just kind of die inside, and be really sad all the time, because that's, that's the reality. The first thing you're going to have to do is just chop all your hair off. If you have really long hair, you might want to say goodbye to that, or else it's just not cool enough, and you need to edge it up a little bit. A really easy way to make this look work is to just take some scissors and chop them right across your forehead and make sure that your bangs are as short as possible. These are called micro bangs and just instantly make you 10 times cooler. Step two to becoming really alternative and cool is to get either your nose or your septum pierced like mine. It really just shows the world, I don't give a shit. I'm really tough and can take big needles through my nose. Getting your septum or nose pierced just really shows the world, I'm a feminist and I care about my gender. The cool thing about having a septum or nose piercing is that people just automatically think, whoa, that girl is who I want to be. She's cool. She's cool. Speaking of feminism, step three to being a really cool alternative girl is to be a feminist. Because that's all that being a feminist is about. Being trendy and cool. Because feminism is obviously just a trend. And with your new septum or nose piercing, it'll just tell the world, I'm a feminist. And I care about girl power and I care about equality. And that'll just make you look really cool in the eyes of society. Step four to being a really cool, hip, alternative girl. You've probably seen these around the internet for a while now, and it's basically become a staple of an alternative girl's wardrobe. A choker. You can get these classic kind, or you can get this cool kind that's floral and says, I'm different, and I like standing out from the crowd a little bit more than the classic girl does. Or you can get this kind that says, I'm really tough, and I like having studs around my neck. I also really like dogs. Step five to being a really cool alternative girl, you really gotta know how to do your makeup. One of the most important things about alternative girl makeup is your eyebrows. If they're thin and sparse, they're probably not good enough to be alternative. You're gonna wanna make sure that they're thick, full, and very sharp. Another important thing about alternative girl makeup is the cat eye. You gotta have it mastered. Pick a style that you really like. Do you like the shorter cat eye or the longer cat eye? It's up to you. And the most important thing, about alternative girl makeup is lipstick. You gotta have some on you at all times. As an alternative girl, you're gonna need three types of lipsticks in your arsenal. One, you're gonna need a dark lipstick that is as dark and poetic as your soul. Two, you're gonna need a brownish lipstick to just show, you know, I don't really care and this is totally organic and normal for me. And the third, you're probably gonna need a colored lipstick such as green or blue to show how different you are and how much you just don't give a shit what other people think about you. Another really important thing to have when you're an alternative girl is coffee with you at all times because you're gonna be exhausted from being so different and from not really blending in with society. It's, you know, it's a lot of pressure and you need caffeine for it. Another thing you're really gonna wanna take into consideration when thinking about becoming an alternative girl is that you really have to commit to having all Apple products because that is the only way to be artistic and cool. For example, I have this iPhone 6. I also have this MacBook Pro. And all these material items, well, they're the only way that you're gonna look cool to your Twitter followers. Along on the topic of technology, you have to know that to be cool, you have to have the latest technology, but you also have to be caught up with all the vintage technology as well. For example, you should at least have a Polaroid camera or a friend who has a Polaroid camera so they can take pictures 
for you. And you should have at least a few Polaroids lying around your room so you can show, yeah, I'm cool and I know how old photography works. You should also have a lot of vinyls around your house. Vintage music is the only way music is gonna sound good. Don't worry if you have a record player. It only matters if you have the vinyls. People see that you have them. Otherwise, all the other music is on Spotify. When it comes to the fashion of being an alternative girl, you're only gonna have to go to two shops. One, Urban Outfitters. Two, American Apparel. Everything else just doesn't really matter anymore. Unless you're broke like I am, and then you kind of have to substitute with H&M and Forever 21. Sometimes thrift shops just to show your street cred. Your two new favorite colors are going to be a mustard yellow, such as this. Beautiful. Mustard really brings out the art hoe in you. Your second new favorite color is going to be maroon, such as this. This is a good, nice color. The more maroon and mustard you have in your outfits, the more credit you will be given as an alternative girl. When it comes to shoes, there are a few basics. You must have a pair of sneakers, you must have black boots, and somehow you must have a pair of platforms. A few examples of this, Adidas. These are especially if you want to be kind of health goth and that kind of alternative. It really works out well. Black boot. A simple Chelsea boot will do. Platforms. They come like this, or they can come like this. Doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you tower over everybody else. And lastly, if you want to get more into that health goth vibe, you can always pick up a classic Nike. Sponsor me. An easy way to be alternative is to have a pair of Doc Martens. However, these are a starter item. Once you get other things, you can toss those out because those are so 2011. The same rule applies to flannels. They're kind of a starter item. Once you have them, you can put them with things and say you're alternative, but once you really gather up the rest of your wardrobe, you're gonna wanna say goodbye to those because everybody has flannels and that's gonna make you look really basic. Another really important thing to being alternative, especially an alternative girl, is you can never, never wear a real bra. Your breasts, like your intentions, should be thinly veiled. You're gonna wanna invest in some things I like to call bralettes. Here's a bralette. Here's another example of a bralette. Here's another example of a bralette. You know, you're gonna have to get a lot of them. The more sheer and see-through it is, the better. Rewinding a little bit back to music. <laughs> Your music taste has to be extremely specific. You should be liking bands that would be invited to Beach Goth. And if you go to Beach Goth, that's plus. 10 points. You don't actually enjoy this kind of music, but you find other alternative people pressing you and asking you what kind of music that you really like, just say Mac DeMarco. It works every time. I want Mac DeMarco to put out his cigarette in my eye. Also, under no circumstances should you admit that you like Justin Bieber, One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer, or anything like that. The moment you admit this, your aesthetic and the image you've worked so hard for goes straight down the drain. Never admit to liking mainstream artists. However, feel free to glorify sad white boys. They need all the glorification they can get. Something that can make you seem even more alternative is just to carry around a pack of cigarettes. Constantly have one in your hand. If you don't actually smoke, don't worry. Just carry it around. No one's gonna be able to tell the difference. If anybody asks you why you aren't lighting your cigarette, just say, it's a metaphor. Haven't you read The Fault in Our Stars? And if they don't know what you're talking about, well, that just makes them look dumb. Something that can also really help is having glasses. Now, don't worry if you're actually not blind and don't really need glasses. You can always pick up a pair from Prepper 21, American Apparel. Pairs like these are perfect because they make you seem elderly, except in a really hip, cool way. As an alternative person, you should always be thinking creatively. Bring a notepad around with you. You never know when you're gonna have a spark of poetic genius. One thing that you can never do as an alternative person, just promise me, you cannot ever vape. But vaping's for losers. All you have to do is have all these material items, pretend to like a bunch of things that you don't, and there you have it. That is how to be cool, you guys. That is how to be an alternative girl. All right, you guys, obviously this was a joke. If you took any of that seriously, I'm sorry. Don't actually take this advice. I mean, feel free, but this was all done in a sarcastic manner, so. Don't think I'm being serious when I say you need all these material items, you need all Apple products, and you need glasses, and you need Adidas. Adidas sponsor me, though, because Adidas are great. Basically, I'm about to get really cheesy right now. What I'm trying to say, you guys, is just be yourself. No one's going to believe when you're trying to portray an image that you're not, for instance. 
I don't even know who Mac DeMarco is. I've never been to Beach Goth. And I honestly could care less about most of the bands there. No offense to everybody who enjoys it. Because if you do enjoy it, that's good for you. Everybody just has a different taste. I enjoy clothes, I enjoy the way my hair is and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, like I'm not I'm not just an alternative person. Whatever, you know, I've just I dress this way and I really like listening to Choice of On and kind of pop music and top 40 stuff. And I enjoy doing things that are totally mainstream. Everything is subjective and everything that you have a passion for, you should have a passion for. Everything that you don't, you shouldn't try to have a passion for something that just doesn't really spark your flame. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. End of story. It's been great talking to you guys and I'll see you later. I got some